All right, coming up, your first place Boston Red Sox stay hot, plus is Cam Neely nearing the end. <laughs> and the Red Sox are still in first place in the American League East. They've been in first place virtually the whole season. What a job Kevin Kennedy has come in here and done. I hope he's the Red Sox manager for the next 20 years. I mean, this guy comes in, they lose Aaron Sealy, their opening day starter, and they even missed a beat. They continue to win. This guy, Tim Wakefield, comes over from Pittsburgh, throws these little wiffle ball fluttering knuckleballs. He's getting guys out left and right. He's pitching better than the Rocket. And then you got Mo Vaughn dominating on an MVP pace. I mean, this is the year they could do it. They could do it this year. They could win the World Series this year, maybe. Well, probably not. But it's great right now. They are rolling. Wish I could say the same about the Bruins. They were bounced from the playoffs a little earlier than everybody had hoped. Cam Neely, a big drop off from last year. He went from 50 goals to 27 goals. He also went from 74 points to 41 points. That's a big decline. You know, I didn't hear anybody out there talking about how he would fall off a cliff, but that's what happened. Or at least it seems that way. Now he's still a really good player, but he's not 50 goals anymore. And if you're not going to get that kind of production, who am I supposed to rely on if I'm the Bruins? Dave Reed, Ted Donato. I mean, nice player. It's going to be tough going forward for the Bruins if Cam Neely is in fact no longer the player that he once was. All right, let's go to the NBA playoffs, and I think we've seen the passing of the torch. Michael Jordan comes back from his tenure with the White Sox, and we see him and the Bulls lose to Shaquille O'Neal in the second round of the playoffs. I think Shaq is about to overtake Jordan as the guy in the NBA, the most dominant player in the league. I mean, Jordan was playing baseball. He's checked out, obviously. Shaq is seven feet. Shaq is physically more dominant than maybe anybody we've ever seen. Jordan had a great run, but now we're going to sit and wonder what could have been had he not taken the time off and had he stayed focused on basketball. All right, take your pick. Who's a better athlete, Deion Sanders or Bo Jackson? Wow. Um, I'll go Bo Jackson. I'm going to go Bo Jackson because I think he had Hall of Fame talent in two sports. Dion is obviously an electric football player. Dion's a very good baseball player. Played in the World Series and the Super Bowl. Dion's more fun. Dion prime time. Dion's more of a showman, more personality. But the better overall athlete when you combine speed and strength and the ability in the sports themselves, I go Bo Jackson. All right, take your pick. We're going new school here. There's this new thing, if you haven't heard about it, called Windows 95. They're working on something for the computer where you can go on and buy stuff on the computer, it's called a bag. Take your pick, would you ever buy stuff from the computer? No! What? I would never buy stuff from the computer. It's a lot easier just to go to the store. I mean, I don't even know how you navigate through the computer. It's not like gas costs a lot of money. Who knows what you're actually buying if you can't see it? How do you return something? I shop in stores, that's what I do. All right, final take your pick, what annoys you more? When you get a busy signal when trying to call somebody or when your Super Nintendo games won't start and you have to blow into the cartridge? Oh, when you get a busy signal. At least I feel like I have some control over the Super Nintendo games. Usually I blow in it and the game plays. My friend's sister could be on the phone an hour and a half. I may never get a hold of them. It's not like I can just send them a message through the air. As long as the game turns on, I'll take the game every time. I have some control there. All right, my lock of the day. I'm taking the Yankees tonight to beat the Orioles. Buck Showalter's got the boys playing well. I like Jack McDowell on the mound tonight. Cal Ripken hasn't been hitting the ball nearly as well. Brady Anderson, I'll admit, is an X factor for the Orioles, but I like McDowell in the end and the Yankees. I think they win this game. I have more than a run. I'll take the Yankees minus one and a half tonight at Baltimore. Have a good one. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.